What's up guys, it's your foreign friend, and uh, finally got some newer pickups. Garage sale season started, and I also got a new uh, trade, a couple new trades that came in. Uh, if, you, if you saw some of my last uh, few videos, uh, you saw I picked up a few Saturn games with the Saturn system. Well, I traded a couple of those for uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in time. And it came with this nice little uh, plastic cover. But, um, as you can see, it's in pretty nice shape. Now, I've, I've had this game a couple times before, but, uh, always traded off or sold it for some stupid reason, but, uh, I wanted to keep one. So, here it is. It was a nice little trade. I also got a couple of PS1 RPGs. Starting with, uh, Wild Arms. Now the case is, uh, broken, unfortunately. But it's all complete. With the discs in the manual, so never play this game. Heard a lot of great things about it. Love the PS One. Love some RPGs, so it was a no-brainer, pretty much. So that was nice. Um, I think that's it for trades. I did go to a, a, a lady on Craigslist uh, place place, and he she had uh, this game posted for ten bucks. Now that's a good deal on its own. Um, sadly, it doesn't have the manual, but it has all four discs. Um, but she wanted ten bucks for this, and uh, she showed me she had a bunch of old PC games, but uh, they didn't have the games with them. It was just the boxes with the manuals in there. So in there, so this is some of what it, the stuff I grabbed with that. She she just basically gave it to me with the ten bucks uh, games. This is one of the nicer ones. I, I used to have this as a kid. Duke Nukem, uh, the Atomic Edition, Atomic, whatever. Which What's nice is that usually you find the CD cases or just the CD games on their own. But you never find the boxes or the manuals on their own. So, again, it was a sure I'll take them kind of situation where I couldn't just let that pass. Um, uh, on Facebook, one of my, uh, groups, uh, I got an answer on some, uh, retro games, and, uh, I'm gonna show you what I got. First, this, uh, get this, uh, Game Boy carrying bag with the Game Boy color. Uh, it works, it works fine. The screen is pretty decent. A couple of games, nothing special. Frogger and... Yeah, I don't even want to say that. And uh, what I just found out just before making this uh, video is that there's uh, like a secret compartment down here. And I had a couple of manuals. It's funny because this game was not included, but I got the manual for it. So, that's a little surprise. So it's a good advice to always check what you get. You never know what's inside what. <laughs> Anyways, there's that. With that, I got a nice Super Nintendo, which I have one, but it's completely destroyed. It works, but it's it's just missing pieces and has holes and shit. In it. And this one is not great. I mean, it has some spots, but I haven't cleaned it yet. I'm sure I can bring it to back to its uh, former glory. And the ports are all nice. It, it, the lady said that it's been stored for years. Now that came with all the cords and uh, a couple of controllers, naturally. But it also came with Mario Paint and uh, mouse and mouse pad. Again, all of this is in pretty minty condition. It was it was stored in a box or in a tote or something, because it's just looks untouched. And yes, we have a stack of games we gotta go through. Super Mario War. Here's the stack, so you can so you can get the idea of what I, what I got with it. Curvis Avalanche. All these games are just right out of the box, pretty much. Frozen in time. I love that. Guts. You have to have a golf game with any lot you buy. 
Donkey Kong Country for the win. Always. Aladdin. Again, oh, half this game's already had, but there's a little surprise at the end. Mrs. Pac Man. Another classic that you typically get. Got Mario's Time Machine. Shitty ass game, but oh well. I'll take it. And the reason that I purchased this lot was Curvis Dreamland 3. So I saw this on the on, on the picture she sent me and uh, I was like, oh another Kirby game. That's gotta be like what, twenty bucks? This thing's going over seventy now. I had no idea. So that was a nice little lot. Um That's about the most of the stuff I got. I did stop at a garage sale and I saw this monster just sitting there. No cords, no controllers, no nothing. And I took a risk at it because you know the lady had it for twenty and I offered ten. She took it. Oh, damn, I never I don't think I've ever held one of this. My have my five hundred gig was the slim model. But this is huge, and uh, it was only ten bucks. So I, uh, I just have to find a power cord because the power cord is different. Uh, I think it's the same as the PC stuff, but I'm not sure. I gotta look that up. But I'm eager to try this out and uh, check the comments because I'm sure I'll post if it works or not. And if it doesn't, still ten bucks. It's a no-brainer. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I believe I'm just looking around myself, see if I missed something. But no, I think that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stay tuned because uh, season just started.